Cash Chain Stars with JoyMotorX.com and I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 here. I've just unboxed it and the very next thing I want to do of course is root this bad boy. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is install the USB drivers. Now this would be really simple on Windows. We'll just go to Apps and Settings. Then we'll go down to uh, Developer Options and we'll enable Developer Options. And then we'll go ahead and enable USB debugging. Once we've enabled USB debugging, we'll go ahead and plug in our device to the computer. Now your PC should automatically recognize the device and install the drivers. As soon as that takes place, we can move forward. Okay, this route method should work from any version of Android on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 for Verizon. Um, being as basically it's just a stock rooted Odin file. So what you're going to need to do is head to the link in the description grab the Odin program for your PC go ahead and install that uh, we've already installed the drivers and then you want to grab that rooted uh, it's the file is root 66 and that would be the rooted Odin stock file uh, 4.1.1 for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 once all those files are downloaded we'll go ahead and put our phone in Odin mode so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to power the device off As soon as it is turned off, uh, we're going to hold the volume down, home, and power button all at the same time. Uh, when this pops up, we're going to uh, hit volume up to bring up the Odin mode. And now we're in Odin mode, so we can go ahead and plug this into our computer. And then we'll do everything else from the PC. So as you can see, I have the Odin and the root file in a nice little folder here note to root makes everything really easy to find so I have my Odin and my root 66 Verizon stock system so we'll go ahead and open up Odin and the first thing you want to do here is check that it does have a device listed here and this just lets you know that uh, the USB drivers were installed properly and that the computer does recognize your device the next thing you want to do is uncheck the auto reboot We'll check the PDA box right here and we'll click PDA. We're looking for the root 66 file that we downloaded. We'll go ahead and open that. Give it a few seconds to open. Okay, once the file is visible here, we'll go ahead and click the start button. Now this process will begin here and it's gonna run for about uh, 8 to 15 minutes you'll see that it says system here it's flashing the system now. So you just let this little green bar fill up and then we will continue once it is finished. Okay, so as soon as it's finished, the green bar will be filled up. It's gonna say reset, and then we're gonna go back to our device. Okay, so from here, we'll go ahead and unplug the device from the PC, and we'll turn it around and take the battery out. So we'll take the battery out, and put the battery back in. Now we're gonna boot into stock recovery, so the way that we'll do that, is we will press the volume up along with the home button and power okay and from here from here we will so we will scroll down to wipe cache now this whole process will not wipe your data at all um, but we do need to wipe cache before we reboot and then we can reboot the system Okay, as soon as it's rebooted, we'll jump into the app drawer and see if we have Super User. Which we do. Super User is right there. And we're going to go ahead and run the root checker just to make sure that we do have root access. And it asks for Super User. And so we know that our device is rooted. So guys, that has been how to root the Galaxy Note 2 on the Verizon network. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, uh, click that subscribe button below. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. It's where I will update you guys on all the videos that are coming. And uh, also, we do giveaways on our Twitter account as well. You can also follow me at DroidModerX.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.